can see some of the balancing. These are shaft balancing machines. And what we're doing is we're balancing the rotating components of the spindle before they're ever assembled into the spindle. So an example would be the shaft and rotor assemblies pre-balanced. Once everything's balanced, it'll come back into assembly and then assemble into the final spindle. And then once after assembly and break-in, it will come back to this room and now we're going to do a vibration analysis of the final assembled spindle, which now has been broken in and somewhat pre-balanced. So it should run actually pretty well at this stage. But what we're doing is, one of the things we use is the SKF Microlog, and you can see an example of one here. I've actually got it on. And what they've done is, over time, we've developed software for the Microlog unit that uh, specific to spindles. So there's a lot of vibration analyzers out there, and they'll they'll analyze anything, but you need some expertise behind it to be able to figure out what it's telling. You. So this unit, what they've done is they've developed. Uh, actually, anyone here could probably run it. It's easy. It goes through and it asks you a bunch of questions about the spindle. So how fast are you running it? What are you doing with it? How are you holding it? Once you answer all these questions, it determines the acceptable levels for that type of spindle. So now, you know, once that's determined, we'll look at actually a couple things. Uh, first, we'll look at imbalance uh, of the spindle. What that is, if you're running the spindle in there and you put your hand on it, you can actually feel that imbalance or vibration. So, and obviously the better that is, the better the spindle will perform. So we'll get that down to, you know, as good as possible or, you know, better than what it requires. But if everything checks there too, what we're also going to look at is mechanical condition. Now we're going to look at some different frequencies. And what we're looking for there is, is if there's something mechanically wrong with the spindle. Is the bearing fit loose? Are the bores misaligned? Anything mechanically would show up in a different frequency range, and this unit would take up, would throw up some red flags for us, tell us there's something wrong with it. Um, so if that all passes, the last thing we would look at uh, is enveloping, and we're going to look at the bearing condition. So it, it will analyze the actual bearings if there's something wrong with that. So, and what this does, you know, what we talked about here, it really gives you a good indicator of how the spindle's running, and it's actually been run and tested at the speed for a while, so it really eliminates the risk for the customer.